Did you know that there are 190 dog breeds registered by the AKC? While many of them are familiar faces, there are several breeds that most people have never seen before or even heard of. Some are newly registered and some are just less common in the United States. Here are some facts about a few breeds that you may not be aware of, but they are worth getting to know. Beauceron used to protect and drive the herd, defend his family, and guard the house. The Beauceron is the largest of the French sheepdogs, weighing 70 to 110 pounds. He likes to tend his human flock and is known for following his owner around everywhere, including the bathroom. Beauceron's a smart, lively, and energetic and are always ready to play. They're pretty rough and tumble and might be too much for novice owners with their humans. They're faithful, devoted, and gentle. The Beauceron is an extremely versatile dog, as good at dog sports, military work, and outdoor sports like mushing and ski joring, pulling a person who is on skis as he is at herding. A hallmark of the breed is the double dew claw on each rear leg that appears like thumbs close to the foot. Canaan Dog, the breed began as feral desert dogs that were only domesticated in the 1930s. They retain uh, much of their natural survival instinct, including caution and alertness. In fact, they're 100% aware of their surroundings. The Canaan Dog is the national dog of Israel. In Hebrew, his name is Caleb Kanani. He's uh, loyal and devoted with his human family, but naturally aloof with strangers in Israel. He is used for guard duties as a messenger, for mine detecting during wartime, and uh, uh, as a Red Cross helper. Some Canaans also serve as therapy dogs. Canines have extremely keen hearing and sense of smell and can detect intruders from a considerable distance because of their this fairly recent feral past. Canine dogs have a strong denning instinct and are easily housebroken and naturally clean. Chesky Terrier. The name comes from the former Czechoslovakia, the breed's native country. Cheskies were developed from two entirely different breeds of uh, the Celium Terrier and the Scottish Terrier by a hunter who wanted a dog that could hunt and be a family companion. Puppies are born black or tan and black, but the color changes uh, as they mature to shades of gray from platinum to charcoal. This small dog weighing between 16, 22 pounds for males has exceedingly strong jaws, so strong that he can be the toy Terminator. Chess Key Terriers excel at dog sports, including agility, tracking, and earth dog. Chinook. The breed was developed in New Hampshire to be an all-purpose sled dog, combining the speed of a sled racing dog with the strength and power of a karting dog. The very first dog of the breed was named Chinook, and the breed was named for him. The Chinook is the official state dog of New Hampshire. This is one of the rarest dog breeds. Don't expect to see several at your local dog park. He's smart, enthusiastic and a natural athlete. He's also patient, gentle, and friendly, and is a devoted family dog. As a sled dog, the Chinook loves pulling, so he's a natural for sports like sledding and skijoring. Coton de Tula R, this royal dog of Madagascar, was a favorite of nobles and kings. This is the ultimate companion dog. He's unusually responsive to humans. In fact, Fans of the breed say that the Coton de Tuliar is extremely gentle and sympathetic to his humans. Although small in stature, they love a romp and are lively, energetic playmates. The breed's name comes from the French word for cotton and from their original home on the Bay of Tulir in Madagascar. A Coton de Tuliar excel at dog sports and learning tricks. The breed is known for its unique vocalizing. They actually may seem to respond when you talk to them. Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Dandy Dinmonts were first recorded as a breed uh, around 1700, but didn't get their name until Sir Walter Scott featured the dogs in his novel Guy Mannering, where one of the characters was named Dandy Dinmont. He may be small in stature, but the Dandy has the confidence and personality of a big dog. With his surprisingly loud and low voice, he also has the bark of a much bigger dog. The fluffy head and large, expressive eyes are adorable, but the Dandy Dinmont is no frail creature. He's tough and sturdy with a fearless, independent nature. One of his most recognizable features is a scimitar, tail, which looks like a curved sword. Dandies love to play with kids, which makes them great family dogs. 
Lagato Romagnolo, an Italian breed. His name means Lake Dog of Romagna, or so. Uh, uh, with his keen sense of smell and instinct to search and retrieve, the Lagato Romagnolo is a specialized truffle hunter. As far back as the 17th century, they were used to retrieve game from marshes and wetland. Modern Legato Romagnolo, that's the plural, love to swim and retrieve, and they have the endurance to do it all day. His coat is distinctive. It's dense and woolly with tight curls all over his body. He's also got abundant eyebrows, beard, and whiskers. He's an affectionate and undemanding companion, forming a strong bond with his people with his intelligence, natural tendency to search and retrieve, and his drive, the Legato Romagnolo, is often used as a therapy dog and for search and rescue. And he also competes in dog sports like tracking, dock diving, agility, and rally. Norwegian Lundahuenda originating in the Arctic islands of Norway, the Lundahuen retrieve puffins, small seabirds, from crevices in the island's rugged vertical cliffs. The breed's unique physical characteristics were essential to his task. Six toes on each foot, the ability to bend his head so far backward that it touches his spine. Flexible shoulders that allow him to extend his front legs flat to the side so that he could hug the cliff face. All of this makes the Loon Who and one of the best climbers in all of dogdom and a superb hiking partner. Also known as the Puffin Dog, the Loon Who and Day was or was extremely valuable to the islanders, and some households had up to a dozen dogs. These are quite small dogs with males 13, 15 inches tall, and females 12 footer, 14 inches tall. Fans of this rare breed describe the Loon Dust. Huh. And as a playful and loving canine companion, his, he's loyal to his humans, but can be wary of strangers. And like many dogs that were bred to work independently, he has a, a bit of a stubborn streak. <laughs> Slokey, uh, this ancient breed developed in North Africa and was originally the sight hound of the Bedouins and Berbers. He's been called the Arabian Greyhound. He was used to hunt small and large game over harsh terrain and to this day will chase anything that attracts his interest. And the Slew G is a graceful noble dog with a hallmark long wedge-shaped head that tapers to a strong jaw. He may be mistaken for a Saluki or a Greyhound, but this is an entirely different breed. Another characteristic of the breed is a slightly melancholy expression with dark expressive eyes, although he seems somewhat aloof. The Slowy is faithful and loyal to his people. This athletic dog is actually very quiet at home and may seem shy. The Slugee is very particular about his personal space and may be uncomfortable around strangers. 